Humanity has always gazed at the night sky with wonder, building stories and science around those distant lights. We thought we understood the universe, its origins, its evolution, its rules. The James Webb Space Telescope was supposed to confirm our theories by capturing the universe's earliest light. Instead, it revealed something shocking. The cosmos is not what we expected. Imagine opening a baby photo album and finding adults staring back at you from the first page. Webb didn't just lift a veil, it tore a hole in our understanding of reality. What it found isn't a minor anomaly, it's a challenge to the very core of modern cosmology. The discoveries are so bizarre, they force us to question everything about space, time, and our place in the universe. The story of a predictable, orderly cosmos may have been a comforting illusion. Now, we're on the edge of known physics, facing evidence that the universe is fundamentally different than we imagined. The age of cosmic certainty is over. The age of cosmic mystery has just begun. Buckle up, we're about to journey into the unknown, Webb's first shockwave galaxies that shouldn't exist. Our models said the early universe was simple, tiny galaxies slowly forming over hundreds of millions of years. But Webb found massive, mature galaxies, like Glass Z13, just 300 million years after the Big Bang. These weren't cosmic toddlers. They were giants, some as massive as the Milky Way. It's like finding a full-grown oak a week after planting an acorn. These galaxies are bursting with stars burning through their fuel at impossible rates. Our models predict slow, inefficient star formation. Webb found the opposite. And it's not just one galaxy. Webb has found several. This isn't a tweakable detail. It's a crisis for our understanding of galaxy formation and dark matter. Did dark matter clump faster? Is there an unknown force at work? Or is our entire cosmic timeline wrong? These galaxies are cosmic rebels, forcing us to confront the possibility that our foundational model is fundamentally flawed. The universe's early days were far stranger than we ever imagined. Next, let's talk about the cosmic horizon, the limit of what we can see. The universe is expanding and at a certain distance galaxies recede from us faster than light. This Hubble sphere marks the edge of the observable universe. Light from beyond shouldn't reach us, but Webb has detected photons that seem to come from beyond this cosmic horizon. It's like getting a postcard from a place that shouldn't exist. How can we see light from regions receding faster than light itself? Astronomers are baffled. The fabric of space-time is behaving in ways we never anticipated. Is our understanding of cosmic expansion incomplete? Is the Hubble sphere not a true boundary? Some suggest the light is bent or reflected in extraordinary ways. Whatever the explanation, Webb has shown us that our cosmic prison may have a window. We're forced to reconsider the limits of our perception and the true scale of reality. The universe is sending us whispers from the outside. Our map of the cosmos just got a lot more complicated. The boundaries we trusted may not exist at all. Impossibly mature galaxies and light from beyond the horizon force us to question the Big Bang itself. Maybe the Big Bang wasn't the true beginning, just a phase in a much older, possibly eternal, cosmic cycle. Some physicists propose a big bounce, where our universe is recycled from a previous one, or perhaps we're seeing evidence of another universe overlapping with ours, its ancient light bleeding into our own. Webb's data is so anomalous, it's pushing scientists to consider the multiverse, an infinite archipelago of realities, each with its own history. The beginning we thought we knew may just be the moment our cosmic bubble became distinct from another. As if that weren't enough, Webb has detected a faint rhythmic pulse, a cosmic heartbeat. This isn't from a star or a pulsar but a slow, periodic fluctuation in the fabric of the universe itself. The pulse is so faint and uniform, it took Webb's sensitivity to even detect it. Some theorize it's a resonance of space-time, the universe ringing like a bell. Others suggest it's the signature of a massive, unknown structure, or even a higher-dimensional phenomenon. 
Whatever it is, the universe is not silent. It has a pulse. We're only now able to hear it. The cosmos is alive with mysteries we're just beginning to sense. Webb's gravitational lensing observations have revealed even more anomalies. In some regions, the gravitational warping is far stronger than visible matter or dark matter can explain. It's as if there's ghost gravity from an unseen source. One theory, we're detecting the gravitational influence of a parallel universe. In some string theory models, gravity can leak between universes. Webb might be seeing the gravitational shadow of a massive structure in a neighboring cosmos. These strange tugs could be the first evidence that we're not alone in the multiverse. The universe may be haunted not just by dark matter, but by the gravity of its neighbors. We may be mapping the geography of another reality. The boundaries between universes might be thinner than we thought. Webb's data has inspired the theory of a mirror universe, a cosmic twin moving backward in time. This anti-universe could explain dark matter as a right-handed neutrino, existing only in the mirror reality, but influencing ours. If there's a reflective boundary between universes, light from our early cosmos could bounce back, creating cosmic echoes. Some of Webb's strange detections might be reflections of our own past, not ancient galaxies from another timeline. This CPT symmetry theory ties together the Big Bang, dark matter, and Webb's anomalies. The universe may be more symmetrical and poetic than we ever imagined. We could be looking into a cosmic mirror, seeing echoes of ourselves. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to give us answers, but it's given us deeper mysteries. Each discovery, impossible galaxies, light from beyond, cosmic pulses, gravitational ghosts, cracks our understanding. Our cosmic map is useless. The universe isn't playing by our rules. Are we in a recycled universe? Feeling the pull of a parallel cosmos? Seeing our own reflection in a temporal mirror? The certainty of old cosmology is gone, replaced by thrilling, humbling unknowns. Webb has forced a paradigm shift, shattering the illusion that we were close to understanding it all. We're not cosmic masters, we're children, stumbling into a world stranger than we ever imagined. The universe is fundamentally stranger than we thought. Webb hasn't just opened a window to the stars, it's opened a door to an existential mystery. We searched for our origins and found a question, are we even home?